not the point. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. So if anyone has any more questions, that's your cue for questions. Then let's get started. Perfect. So let's get back to section 4.2. Section 4.3 is kind of where we're hanging out now. Chapter 4 really all blends together nicely. But um, we're talking about divisibility stuff. And we had a proof to finish. Before we finish that proof, um, I kind of want to talk about divisibility some more, just because I realize this might be a new concept to some people. I mean, we probably have seen it. We've seen multiples and greatest common divisors and stuff like that before. Divisibility. But, um, you know, it's been a while ago, and now we're talking about a much more rigorous context. So let's get going with this divisibility. So let, let's recall, right? Like what divisibility even means. So, recall, or at least for integers, divisibility only makes sense with the integers. Oops. Recall for any integers A and B, A divided by B, A divided by B, what that means is A is a divisor of B. So I'll say A divides B, it's like a verb. A is a divisor of B. B is divisible by A. B is a multiple of A. All those things, they all, they all get to the same thing. And that is that there's some integer, some integer k such that b equals a k right that's what it means to divide real simple we've seen it before and so being even just means that you're divisible by two it means that the or number being even means two divides it right that's by definition and kind of maybe the reason but yeah yeah but um, but you could but you know kind of a way to extend the idea of even maybe if you think about it right even means you can be uh, an even number can be divided by two. We also have numbers that can be divided by three, numbers that can be divided by four. And these are all kind of similar concepts. So, for example, or actually first. Let's write this formally. Formally, what this means is that uh, for all A and Z, and for all B and Z, we say A divides B. If and only if, it goes both ways. If and only if there exists a K such that B equals a k. And remember when we first brought up biconditionals, we had things like, you know, uh, you're like some like like a person's bald if and only if they have no hair. And we're like, yeah, biconditionals are kind of like definitions. Well, this is a definition, right? Like biconditionals really come up when you're just talking about rewriting things. And so a divided by b, it just means this. Because whenever A divides B, this happens. Whenever this happens, A divides B. You guys know what I'm talking about. So this is how you write it formally. This is what the concept of division is. So for example, right, 15 divides 45. Why is 15 divide, divide 45? Because, um, 15 times 3 equals 
45. The point is 45 is an integer multiple of three or on 15. You can multiply 15 by an integer, in this case three, and um, you get 45. So that's why 15 is a multiple of 45. That's why 15, or that's why 45 is a multiple of 15. That's why 15 divides 45. Okay, to keep all these things straight just for another hour. Okay. <laughs> and this also tells us, by the way, that 3 divides 45. So that's interesting. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yeah. So another example would be, let's say, 2 divides 10. And 2 divides 10 because 5 times 2 equals 10, meaning 10 is the integer multiple of 2, because 2 times the integer 5 is 10. And so like a, a way you can visualize that maybe is that if you start with Ten if you start with ten, right, you can break it up into groups of two. That's what it means for two to divide ten. For two to divide ten, it means that you can break ten up into these groups of two. There's nothing left over. You can evenly divide it into groups of two. Right, we could do the same thing with 45. We could have drawn three 15s evenly dividing 45 into 15. So that's what it means to be a divisor. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. It means. So, um, 